Your constitutional freedoms under assault every day of the week. Your freedoms being taken away rapidly. I'm Artifacts Mars and this is Tyranny Watch News. Together we will explore the issues and the assaults on your freedoms, our failing schools, the incoming hordes of illegal aliens, and we'll find ways that we can stop this and return America to its greatness. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Well, this is Artifacts of Mars, and this is Tyranny Watch News for 27th of July, 2014. We're going to start off with news of the invasion. In uh, Mexico, the train line known as the Beast, it's a cargo train called La Bestia the Beast, typical, typically travels at 6 miles per hour where in areas where the Central Americans climb aboard. Now, gee, uh, that sounds a little accommodating to me. Anyway, they say they're going to speed it up to 18 miles per hour to discourage the illegals from hopping on the train and hanging into the U.S. Says uh, the practice is dangerous. The uh, migrant can fall and get caught underneath the wheels and then that's it. Yep. Alrighty, uh... Barack Obama is apparently planning executive actions on immigration after the summer, according to Christian Science Monitor. President Obama will go ahead with a very significant executive action on immigration after the summer, a move that may well trigger impeachment proceedings against him, senior Obama advisor Dan Pfeiffer told reporters on a monitor breakfast Friday. The president acting on immigration reform will certainly up the likelihood that Republicans will contemplate impeachment at some point, said Mr. Pfeiffer, who has been at, White House, at the Obama White House since its inception. A lot of people in Washington laughed off Sarah Palin's call to impeach the president for an executive overreach. Pfeiffer said, but I would not discount that possibility. Yeah. Well, if he tries to turn this into uh, one big megalopolis country, yeah, he's going to get thrown out of there. I mean... I've seen another report where it said that a new southern border is uh, the southern border of Mexico with Guatemala. I think I'll uh, try to find that report. We'll put this on hold. Okay, I found the story. It's from worldnutdaily.com. Former border czar for the Obama administration, Alan Burson, was now Assistant Secretary of Homeland Security for International Affairs. There in a speech he delivered in 2012 that the southern border of the United States is effectively the Mexico border with Guatemala. Brunson made this remark at the annual Border Issues Conference hosted by, in Washington by the United States 
dash Mexico Chamber of Commerce. I never knew there was anything like that. Uh, there, this is a terrific period, Bernson said in remarks, suggesting that real action economically in the world will be in North America in the future, read, North American Union. Thanks to oil and gas resources of Canada, the United States, and Mexico. Wild Mountain border with Chiapas, Mexico is now our southern border. But I'm not at all surprised. See, when they linked Germany, the two Germanys back together, they did it economically first. And then they did the political part. But we're not talking about Germany right now. Those were one mostly heterogeneous peoples. Um, we're talking about a completely different culture and lifestyle than we have here in the United States with people that are flooding in this country. So that's another story here that, you know, it just goes to show these people think of us as being all bi one big country, United States, Canada, and Mexico. The name for that is the North American Union. And Obama, Obama's going to wind up getting impeached if he tries to do this, tries to just say, let them all in, leave the border open, no borders, we're just going to let it happen. He's going to get impeached if he does that. Okay, we're going to move on to all the news because we have a lot of... We have problems now with... The Israeli war is uh, starting to cause more and more anti-Semitism worldwide. And it's starting to stir up the Nazis as well, which is never a good thing. Thousands protests, Gaza operations in Paris, some with Nazi-like Quinnell salute. That's that, holding the hand out, see Kyle, that type of thing. We've all seen it on TV. And they have... I'm looking at a picture that has some Arab flag on it, another. Not good. So this war has had the unintended consequences, consequence of storing up Nazis and skinheads and that type of thing. That's never a good thing. But it gets worse from there. Found a story on Telegraph out of the UK, UK Telegraph. That Hamas in North Korea have worked out a secret arms deal. So Hamas takes the money they're getting Palestine's supposed to be getting an aid to fix up their schools and make life better for the people. What they're doing is they're buying arms from North Korea. That don't scare anybody, I don't know what will. Moss militants are attempting to negotiate new arms steel in North Korea for missiles and communications equipment and allow them to maintain their offensive against Israel and Western security sources. Security officials say the deal between Hamas and North Korea is worth hundreds of thousands of dollars and is being handled by a Lebanese-based trading company who close ties to militant Palestinian organization based in East Beirut. Beirut. Hamas officials are believed to have already made an initial cash down payment to secure the deal and are now hoping that North Korea will soon begin shipping extra supplies and weapons to Gaza. Well, there you have it. All the peaceniks are asking for a ceasefire and all this. It's not going to happen. This is a real war. And, you know, I don't know whether it's going to spread into something worse. 
or whether it's going to sputter out, but I don't think it's going to sputter out. Because they're just buying more and more hardware and taking the aid money. I'd say cut off all the aid money to uh, Gaza, West Bank, whatever. Cut off their aid money because they're just not using it to buy weapons anyway. They're not using it to buy food to take care of their people. So, but there you have it. Well, the world situation is not getting any better. In the meantime, Barack Obama has seen this, and apparently, what they're saying is he's emotionally checked out of his job. He hasn't resigned, obviously. He is emotionally checked out of his job. The LA Times reported that first family is believed to be an escrow for a contemporary home in a gated community where some of the more famous entertainers once maintained estates. Americans don't solve problems according to George Santayana. They leave them behind. Perhaps the president is taking this to heart. Basically, he's saying, I've had enough, let uh, somebody else take care of it. That's what this amounts to. While well, all this is going on, just an interesting uh, side note here. This has been the coolest summer in U.S. history, according to uh, let's see who's doing this. According to uh, Stephen Goddard, WordPress.com is a blog. The temperature. We've had the fewest number of 90 plus 90 degree days on record f through July 23rd. Uh, around here it's been a little warm, but nothing too serious. He's probably right. Apparently he's got a whole bunch of different Um, blog entries here on the climate, and he's not favorable to the uh, global warming people, I can tell you that much, I'm looking at his blog right now. So, There you have it. Um, as far as that goes, Obama said enough of this. New York State News. There's up and coming scandals about the Cuomo administration. Cuomo citing new scandals in the legislature vows to push to change laws. Yeah, they just want more laws, but. Uh, I've been listening to the Bill and OJ show, and this guy is as corrupt as you can possibly imagine. So, Governor Cuomo, he'll be lucky if he doesn't wind up getting impeached like Obama. Mr. Cuomo, Cuomo a Democrat, and ran for governor with promise to clean up the scandal plague. State Capitol also sought to distance himself from the arrests, which is people getting busted right and left in Albany. So that's one crook outing most other crooks, basically. Meantime, while you and I are having put up with all this, the government's busy trying to 
eliminate bake sales in places like schools. Rally month after federal regulations for school cafeterias kicked in, states are already pushing back. Specifically, they're finding nutrition standards that will considerably alter one of the most sacred rituals of the American public school system, bake sales. This is from nationaljournal.com. 20 states have established their own policies to circumvent regulations in a healthy, hunger-free Kids Act of 2010 uh, applies to competitive snacks or any food or beverages sold to students on st school grounds that are not part of the Agriculture Department's school meal programs. According to the National Association of State Boards of Education. In other words, they're, what this amounts to is they're tired of Washington trying to dictate what we can eat. Now, we have all these problems worldwide, and they're worried about a few cakes and cookies, basically. Brownies, whatnot. No, 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 no don't eat those. Well, just eat fresh vegetables. They don't work great for a baked stale. Well, no, they won't. So, they're cracking down on, the government's cracking on, down on that, and the states are fighting back. Well, in the midst of all this, we're going to do the Dilgaff section. DUI suspect pulled over while driving Walmart. D Delegate stands for Do I Look Like I Give a Well, you know. Garden City, Colorado, Northern Colorado man was arrested for, on suspicion of DUI. But it was one of his driving it makes this case unusual. He was driving a lawnmower. I remember Vince Gill. I think it was Vince Gill. I mean, one more last chance. Four through and. So all these guys riding their lawnmowers because the, their wives took the keys. So he's going around bar hopping, basically. Drunk as a skunk and going to all these different places. <laughs> he couldn't stand on his own just showing signs of impairment. He claims that uh, he was not using a lawnmower to get around with take care of overgrown weeds. Well, no sympathy here. If you drive drunk, you're in trouble. But this is kind of a new one. Drunk driving on a lawnmower, running around town, totally soused and hopping, bar hopping. It's funny when you see a mo movie video and it turns out to be <laughs> something that actually happens. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thank you for listening to Tyranny Watch the News. Your country is in a soft tyranny. The borders are wide open. We're in trouble. We need your help. Get involved. Melt down those uh, phone lines. Uh, your congressman's office. Give them no rest, no peace. Do something. I'm Artifacts of Mars.